Abundant late winter and early spring rains are producing a bumper crop of wildflowers here in Central Texas. But the favorable weather is also behind the rapid spread of something else along our roadways. A new at 5, KXAN's Jim Swift tells us that could mean a dim future for the wildflowers. Here's a pretty little plant with beautiful yellow blooms on it, sitting all alone in a big old pasture. Wouldn't it be cool if we could see acres of this waving yellow beauty along our roadsides? Too late. It's already happened. And as it turns out, that is not a good thing. This is bastard cabbage. That is a perfect name for a plant that is a major threat to the well-being of Texas bluebottles. What happens is in the fall when these plants germinate, they form a rosette close to the ground. And that rosette actually takes up space and blocks out the blue bonnets that should be coming up in that area. As the seasons come and go, the explosion of bastard cabbage is becoming hard to ignore. A lot of people are having this show up in their yards and in the green belts along creeks and things like that. Now, the best way to get rid of it is to manually remove it. It has a large tap root, and you want to make sure that you have a sturdy shovel <laughs> to get that out, okay? You can uh, hand pull it as well. So you can see it has a nice robust tap root and you wanna make sure you get that because it will, if you don't get that, the plant will continue to grow and reflower. Researchers at the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center have been keeping up with experimental herbicide applications. What they found is that while the treatment does kill the plants, seeds in the ground re-sprout and the infestation comes back stronger than ever. On a scale of 1 to 10, how worried are you about this and its impact on our wildflowers? I'm at about 9.5 right now. Uh, if we don't do something about this, we're going to have to say goodbye to our Texas wildflowers. Including blue bonnets. Including the blue bonnets. So, fellow Texans, remember the blue bonnets and do your duty. Jim Swift, KXAN News.